kaga warramaya dadkiisa sida loo galay iyo sidii ay ahaan jireen wuxuuna jeclaystay inuu idin la qaybsado dhibta soo gaartay dadkiisa wuxuuna rabaa in idinka dhalinyarada Soomaaliyeed ay iska ilaalisaan ama ay ka feejignaataan dhaqankiina oo luma nala daawada biirogi waa kana I'm retired and it's for you Somali youth to to get off the couch turn the television off and start working with your own culture and preserve Somali poetry and and preserve your own language this government in this country will do its best to have you forget your language and that is the beginning of the death of culture so you must study your own language from your parents your uncles your aunts and the other community members wherever you're living and while you study the language uh you must also study the poetry because that's a, a major part of your culture it's not just these material artifacts also the the orature the oral literature of your society is very very important and it will help you preserve somali culture even if you are not inside the borders of somali you know it's necessary to survive you have to learn english or french or wherever you're living um danish swedish wherever you're living you have to learn the language of the area but you don't have to do that in your household uh and your parents don't need to speak a foreign language to you in your household uh the best way to become bilingual is to learn both languages from the cradle up if you have to learn somali after you become a teenager or or in your 20s it's it's difficult it's possible the saint tanzania didn't speak any somali until he was about 30 years old and and he's fluent in somali now so it's possible but the easiest way is to learn from the cradle up and when you go off to school to the first grade you're going to have to speak the language of the country but at home you should you should speak somali and um in that manner you you keep your own ethnic uh background my my ethnic background is i'm i'm not uh completely european my my identity is it lies in the cherokee nation i'm a uh native american and the american government has done its best to obliterate native languages uh on this continent most of my people don't speak our native language anymore we only speak english we still preserve our culture but we have lost a great deal of it because uh we don't speak our native tongue my name in cherokee is galaloi awahali which means eagle he flies in the vault of the heavens we don't have our language like we used to we've started teaching Cherokee to our young people in grade school now in Oklahoma in the hopes of reviving our language but uh, I cannot stress to you how important it is to keep speaking your native tongue and we we've lost a lot we lost a lot of our culture because when the Europeans came to America they brought many diseases with them and in the first 50 years of contact three quarters of my people were dead with smallpox now who dies in an epidemic the elders and the and the youth and who keeps the culture the elders so we lost a lot of our culture uh within 50 years because so many of our elders had had died in the smallpox epidemic so we threw on them So hang on to your language. <laughs>